right, here's how I packed up my uh, my glassware for this party, for this uh, mad scientist lab. That's what I'm going to call it. some of this stuff at Goodwill and even Amazon. Quirks at Amazon. Okay, I think that's all. Hey, I'm here to build my mad scientist lab. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it together as I go. I had to dig it all out from the party of 2015. This is 2017, so I might have trouble trying to remember how it went, but that's what I'm going to do. Now, I built this table here. Uh, it's mostly two by fours and pine boards, really. And I built that, and then I had this box. I had this box here already made for many years and it wasn't being used so I took the lid off and I put some of these boards on and then I took the back off so I could access it back here. So the back's off, I got things set up and start to ready to put together. It's cool out but it's getting warm so let's get started. All right, first I fill my pan. This is a pan, I, I don't know, I bought it at a garage sale or Goodwill, but I filled it with water here. So I'm going to put that down in here. This is my pump that goes inside of it. So it gets submerged down in there. It's got suction cups. I'll put some more information about that pump. I got it at Lowe's. And then this is the return. And I have a control valve here because it was pumping so hard and fast that my water up, up top wasn't uh, looking as good so I can slow it down or speed it up and it's still set the way it was for the party so I'm just going to leave it that way and I just set that down in the water also and then I'm going to move that and put it underneath here I still have another hose I got a hook on here I'll get to that later. So I got my LED lights. They're already hooked up, been hooked up. And I got an extension cord coming in. So now I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get the metal piece. So as I said a little bit earlier, I thought I bought it at, at uh, Lowe's, and this might have been the pump I bought at Lowe's. See how big it is? Very small pump. But it was a 30 to 45 gallons per hour. But as you could see, the range of pumping range was only a 1 foot 6 inches. So it, this pump was just not big enough to be able to pump it all the way up through my hoses up to that flask and down through the, to, into the funnel. So that's when I went to Amazon and I was able to get this pump this fountain pump it's 155 to 300 gallons per hour but the the uh, Iodale pumping range was three to five feet which was perfect and you see this pump has an adjustable flow control which I did not see until after I made this bypass that you'll see later uh, I'm trying to see how I had it made it must be this way All right, this thing is just some, um, I think it's three quarter inch black pipe and I got these fittings. And then this is solid uh, rod that I got like at a TSC or some farm. 
some place that sells metal. These things I got at, I think Lowe's also. I think there's something to hold piping. Mark, you want to come up and get a close-up of these? I can't remember what these, I think these were condo holders maybe. And I had some threaded rod and then I got this piece, I think. If I didn't get it at Lowe's, then I bought it on at uh, Amazon. So, I got my screws. I'll screw it down to this table. somehow. No, it came down here. That's where it was at. This is my return after the water pumps up through then it will come down uh, through the funnel and back down in through this hole and back into my pan. And I have this pipe on it as a weight to hold that return hose in my pan. here for this one to come up through. And now this other end here, it's proper toes, plastic. This other end here hooked over on this uh, other fitting that was sticking out. three-way a T. So this hose hooked on there. or I might break it. And then I stuck that tube in there. There we go tighter. Okay. So the water comes up this way, goes through my tube, comes into here and it, it fills a little bit and then it starts to run out, goes back into my funnel, which goes back to my main pan. I'm just going to plug it in and see how it works right now. See if I get sprayed here. Oh yeah, I got a leak. Alright, 
So far, that's good. Okay. Okay, when I first fired my pump up, the water was pumping so fast that it was uh, spilling out past the funnel. So that's when I had to put this bypass in and put a control valve on it. That way I could open that and some of the water would flow that way back into the pan. I could keep a, a nice amount of water flowing up into my uh, flask and then drop it into the funnel where it looked nice. But this That bypass was a way that I could let water go back in because that pump was pumping you know it, it was probably a pretty big pump for it but it was what I needed to go you know four feet up into the air I'll put my eyeballs these were uh, just plastic eyeballs I got and then I took cock, uh, cocking and squirted on the back I dr did drill a hole in them just so uh, I could get maybe two holes yeah there's another one so that way water can get in, air can get out, and some of them would sink in, into the water. So I had these in, these eyeballs in this uh, jar. I'll put some water in that later. Get that pan sat back there. Looks like there's an LED light right there, so I must have had a, a light shining up through it. Yeah, I think I had a sink some of them. See that bubbles coming out of them. So, but for now, that'll be good. Uh, I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to turn the LED lights on. All i got to do is plug it in. It's, they're 12 volt. This is 12 volt and 300 milliamps. So I'm going to plug them in. Now, each one of these LEDs, this is blue, that's green, this is blue, orange, red, and this is red, I believe. So that kind of tells me what color of food coloring I gotta put inside my water. So let me get my red. I'll drip some red in there. Put some red food coloring in there. Ooh, it's blood. <laughs> Kinda looks orangish, but it's red. There we go. That one's done. Now, let's see. Over here, I think I had this one sitting there. And that one there. I think this one's sitting back here. I'm trying to get as close as I can to, to the way I had it that day. All right. And then my eyes and my brain. I gotta bring my brain, not my brain, but my scientist brain. Put that in there. I got that at Goodwill for sure. Because it's a... Uh, if you want a drink of the brain water, it's Canadian Club with a little spout there. So. So I got some fake bugs here, of course, plastic bugs. I just had some of them in here in this jar just to help add it. All right, that takes care of that one. So here I put my cut off fingers in this jar. I mean, these things were packs of whatever, six or eight. They're cheap. And 
my finger sitting somewhere. All right, and then I've had these. I've had these for many, many years. The old fake hand that moves. I had that over here. I'll place that down underneath there, and then the beating heart. All right, we'll sit there and go there. Looks like my finger is ripping. Do some repair work. Got some books sitting here. Yeah, this one is how to fix almost everything. That one's just algebra. Some goggles maybe needed. Okay, it looks like I had a couple more. I think I had some more sitting back here. like drinking glasses and that just to add to it. Oh I have a second brain. Hold on. Actually third brain. This one uh, I bought at a store one time but it was hollow and I put aluminum foil, balled it up and put it inside. I set that one underneath here just in case any drips it catches the dripping splashes from that. And then I had another brain, and I'll put um, Still Be Studios, I believe it is. He, I watched him build brains, and I thought, I like that, good idea. I don't, so I made some of them. I'll put a link to his YouTube on that. So I'll put that brain in there, put a couple brains in there. Okay, what else am I missing? Oh yes. For the bottom shelf here, let me see. Let's go. So for down here, I had some. Uh, what kind of jars are those? Masonry jars, right? And what I did. I'll show you later. I guess I'll get back to that one. Oh, here's another one. Another potion. Just printed them off the internet and put them on labels and stuck them on some jars that look kind of cool. Alright, I'm going to fill these up with water. Okay. These are the test tubes. I got them off of Amazon. I do believe so. And this thing, the test tube holder, I made that just out of some uh, quarter inch wood. It wasn't too hard. Okay, my next thing I'm going to hook up here is my, this is a fish pump. It blows air, so this will go down here and then So I got this that goes on first. That pushes on there. I do have check valves. I believe that's what those are to so keep, uh, unless it's a filler. And then I got a twin uh, controller there. And then I've got another one. And that must have hooked onto this one because it's got one of them. So this will go underneath, and then I'm going to feed this. I believe they all, there is some other holes here, so that's probably what happened. Can't get that through there. So I got a piece of glass tube here that broke from something. I use that because it's clear, and it gives it a little bit of weight to lay down inside. Uh, 
one of these jars. I don't want no kinks in it. So I'll swing that around. And I can't go there. Let's go like this. Let's just drop into this one. There we go. And then this one, this one up here, I have this piece. And that goes in there. Oop, goes the other way. And the cork pushes in. And then I have another tube. It's going to go down through one of these holes. Have it come over. I don't know if that, I got the hoses mixed up. But pull this one out. But this one, no, it couldn't have been. That was full weight. Okay. Never mind. Like I said, I'm just trying to figure out how I did this. I think I had another one blowing bubbles. I was thinking maybe it was the eyeballs. Let's just shove it in there. Put that lid without pinching the, the hose shut. I did have another hose. comes up through another hole. I don't know. I'm not going to probably reach. I think it went down through this glass is what it did. Oh, it stuck in there maybe. Like so. There. Let me plug it in and see how it works. All right. They're all working. That's good. So now, I'll plug my LED light back in a sec for a little bit. Since this one has the green LED light, I'm going to drop some green food coloring in there. No more was green. That one's blue. So I'll put some blue in that one, which I should have did before I corked it. No problem. I know what makes orange <laughs> uh, green and yellow does it put some yellow in there I'll put a little green in there I'm not sure if green and orange or green and yellow makes orange uh, kind of made uh, green again I don't know my color mixture There's a red one. I got a red one back here. LED lights. I'll put some red food coloring in that one. I think that's it. So, okay. Oh, I need green now. Yes. So I had green run through this too, so what I gotta do is drop some green food coloring in this pan back here. Yeah, you can come around. I'm gonna put some green food coloring in this pan. I might as well start it up. So 
it mixes in. the green so now this green never showed up very good when the lights all went out so what I did is I put two LED lights up here one pointed down this way and one pointed down this way so I'm going to unplug everything and then hook hook those two LED lights up a whole four of LED lights that come through. That's a little tight, but here it comes. And I'll send it up this way. I'll just let it hang there for now. Get the next one up. What's that? You want to show the LED bulb on there? I don't even see it. Oh. Okay, yes. This is another one. It came from uh, Still Be Studios. Again, he was showing me how to wire, showed me how to wire up LED lights. This is like some garden wire, easy to bend. And this is like a garden stake. Uh, it's like aluminum it's encoded, but you can cut that and then the LED light, it, this is the wires that go to it. You can buy them already with a resistor on them. And I just put them inside here and taped it up and then inside is the LED light so what I'm going to do is put these up here I'll tape them up and then uh, bend them down to point at this wire so well those are the green LED lights right there that I put on that's why it helps light this tube up a little bit at least give it some light now over here now over here is uh, my test tubes and what I did is I took some of these, uh, I think they're bayonet type glow sticks. Now you pull the tops off, we don't need them. But they fit perfect down inside here so let me break one up. Glow sticks are pretty cool, really. Look how bright that is. And there we have it. And I believe that is it. That is my mad scientist uh, setup. I guess down here, these I cut, I cut, the, I broke the glow sticks and then I cut them and dumped them in there. You know, you gotta be careful because it could be toxic. I don't know, I never really read. But that made those jars glow there, but you could use LED lights and that would make them glow.
You know, it's very soothing. And the color lights, you'd almost go to sleep beside it. You know, I think I had one LED, green one, pointing at that thing, now I think about it. I don't know, it really doesn't look as good. Alright, there we are. So, I did point that green uh, LED over to this thing, because I think that's the way I had it. If you look, it's too dark on this side of the table. Curry wings kind of coming from the return. I don't remember it doing that. But. So, more LEDs. You could run them from across, down this piece, and over, or underneath, and have the LEDs, or have a little box for them to sit on, light these things up with LED lights. <laughs>